Do you ever wake up annoyed at your alarm? Annoyed because you have to go to work? Annoyed because you slept one hour less than normal? Annoyed because your body's hurting? Annoyed because it rains outside? Or annoyed because of whatever? So you reach for your vape to get some nicotine and your phone to watch some TikToks. Anything really to give you a dopamine boost that help you forget the depressing reality of life. If that is you, Unless you recently lost a loved one, have been diagnosed with a terrible, untreatable disease, or you've experienced extreme trauma, let me give you a food for thought. You might be lacking a purpose. When God created the world and everything in it, he also said, let's create mankind in our own image, in our likeness. Let them have dominion over all the earth. Thus God gave life to the first man, Adam, who he put in the Garden of Eden to dress and keep it. Then God gave life to the first woman, Eve, who became Adam's wife. The order here is very simple. First, God gave Adam an identity as a man made in God's own image. Secondly, God gave Adam a purpose to dress and keep the Garden of Eden. And thirdly, God gave Adam a wife, Eve, to join in on his purpose and adventure of exploring this new world. You see, God didn't create Adam to sit by in idleness, watching Netflix or eating cakes. No, he created him with a specific purpose that included productivity. Then the partner followed along as he was in his purpose. Anyways, it's not only in the Bible where we see the importance of doing something productive. A study in the US done on early retirement shows that workers who received their benefits at the age of 62 were twice as likely to report long-term limitations compared to those that retired at later ages. So it's medically important to have a job. But there is something else that I want to dig into here. A study done in the US also shows that 51% of the US population reported in 2014 to being disengaged in their work, while 17.5% reported being actively disengaged in their work. Now this might raise the question in your mind, does that mean that half of the US population are bored out of their mind and probably in addictions? And yes, that is true. 60.2% of Americans 12 years or older are abusing either tobacco, alcohol or other illegal drugs. I strongly believe there is a connection between having a job you really dislike, being bored out of your mind and being in addictions. I also believe that we all have a God-given purpose and I believe we find ourselves the most alive when we're in that purpose and the least alive when we're outside of that purpose. Let's take a musical performer as an example here. So this is a profession that requires a lot of hard work and dedication to stay on top of your game. It also doesn't pay that well off in the beginning. Nevertheless, a musical performer will usually take on the challenges that he is facing bravely and maybe even with excitement, always looking for new events to attend and new places to play. But if you were to put this same person in the class of electrical engineers, you'll probably see that he would be bored out of his mind, probably able to do it and finish the course, but facing the challenges with way less excitement. He would be more like a duck on land in the class of electrical engineers, but more like a duck in water while he's pursuing his dream and his purpose of being a musical performer. You might have read the book The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. Without spoiling too much of the plot if you haven't, it's about a shepherd boy who is in search of his treasure. On this journey of finding his treasure, he has to make many hard choices, including sacrificing good opportunities to get wealthy. Nevertheless, he is determined to finding the real treasure and does not settle for mediocrity. Eventually, the book boils down to the scripture where Jesus says, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. It's a wonderful story about seeking out what you really want to do, your treasure, and putting aside comforts and lesser opportunities. Because the comfort zone is a place where many men lose their soul. 
Now, I'm not going to spend way too much time on uh, nothing grows in the comfort zone, because although this is true, I'd much rather challenge you with a thought. Whenever you go for the comfortable choice over what you really want to do, you're losing a part of your soul to that comfort. And what do I mean by this? You'll always know that you're not doing what you really want to do. But facing this regret day in and day out is tough. Eventually your comfortable job, your safe pick, will become lifeless. Then you'll find yourselves in addictions in order to cover for the pain of reality. Thus you have lost a part of your soul to the comfortable choice. Because you're not really living anymore. You're just making time pass with as much ease as possible. What I found in seeking out my real treasure in pursuing my purpose is that the scripture where Jesus says, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also, is completely true. My heart cares deeply for the guys of our generation that are struggling with depression, social anxiety, that are contemplating suicide, that are stuck in various addictions and can't find the meaning in life. Whenever I wake up in the morning and I start working on one of these videos, I reap a reward of deep fulfillment. My regular job in IT now becomes a source that pays the way for me to do what I truly want to do. Does it serve a much bigger purpose than me just solving IT issues? Now, I want to end this video asking you two questions. When did you last feel like a duck in water? And where is your heart at? For now, have a good rest of your day and I'll talk to you in the next one.